So we're going to be looking at the F1 fault code on the British Gas 330 and the Glowworm Ultracom. Now, if you're not familiar, the Ask Glowworm website is brilliant. It's got a bit more technical info than it does in the uh, installation manual. Um, I'll show you how to get onto it on this next video. So here's your F1 fault code, the checks you should be doing. Obviously is there gas, is the right amount of gas, condense, all your basic checks that you would do. Now when this one fires up, it comes on with a bit of a bit of a noise, a bit of a whoop 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 whoop. So have a listen. What that tells me is the gas valve needs to be adjusted. So it might not have been done on the previous service or services. So what we're gonna do is a factory reset, get it back to normal and then adjust it to get to the settings we want. Not just the noise, but it won't stay on for me to get the readings long enough to even adjust it. So we're gonna do a factory reset. To do the max throttle, it's the two and a half mil hex key above the solenoid. I'm going to wind that in fully clockwise and then back out seven and a half turns. The minimum behind the brass cap is a four mil hex key. Wind that in fully clockwise and then back out two and a half turns. From there, based on the model you have, check your installation manual and then you can adjust it to get it perfect. There we go. No more noisy start up and no more F1 fault. It's worth doing this if you hear that noise and also before you start ripping the burner and the electrode apart because uh, it might solve the problem before you start getting too involved. It is worth noting the electrode should be cleaned on the service because if they get brittle it will fall straight down because it's a downwards burner and it's a plastic bottom and it will just distort that plastic and then it will spill POCs and then to get that bottom plastic part, you have to buy a new main heat exchanger. So for the sake of cleaning the electrode, it can save a lot of money. If this has helped you out, or you're enjoying my videos anyway, give me a thumbs up. It does help the videos and how they do in the long run. If you add me on social media, or on Instagram or Twitter, then you can find some competitions, promotions and some plumbing disasters as well. That does it for this video. Thanks for watching.